This is Hayes Q Jones. Your DVD and Blu-ray ball are on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, you know the routine. Come on in, make yourself at home. You know what's up. This week takes me to the pawn shop. Actually, this is a compilation of three weeks at this specific pawn shop because I always, almost always find some really good stuff in here. So, got some nice 4Ks, real dirt cheap Blu-rays, DVDs, the whole nine. But before I get into what I purchased for the week, not only do I collect movies, yes, I'm one of these wild individuals. I actually watch them too. And on a weekly basis, I just like to share some of the things I've watched either live in theaters, streaming, or physical media. But before I get into that, just a, a request here. It's an open channel here, so you don't have to necessarily like all the movies I like. If you don't like a movie I like, let me know what let me know why you didn't like it. Just say that a movie sucked, then we'll tell me a whole lot. Tell me why it sucked or why you didn't like it. I honestly like to know. And it's okay to disagree. I watch movie ad channel all the time. Most of the movies is just like, yeah, I got that, or I want to get that, or I've never seen that. Some of the movies I'll probably never watch. Movie Edge, I think he has close to all the Academy Award winning movies. And some Academy Award movies I'll probably never watch. Like, I'll probably never watch Gone with the Wind. And frankly, Scarlett, I don't, don't give a damn. Kells and I, Kells Daily, he thinks Dr. Sleep is better than The Shining. I think The Shining is an incredible movie. The cinematography, the casting of Jack Nick, Shelley Duvall, Scatman Crothers, how the whole movie looks like it's shot in either sepia or black and white, but it's really in color. The soundtrack, it's a fantastic movie. On the flip side, Kells likes the original Zod and Superman, the original Superman Christopher Reeve, you know, the deal with the, the matching blouses with the other two kryptonites. Kryptonians, you know, the one I, I'll give that Zod props. Neil before Zod. That's some pimp shit. I have to give it to him. You know, you're in the audience like, no, you go boy with your sequence shirt, you know, but I like the Michael Shannon Zod and the Henry Cavill Man of Steel, someone who was genetically designed to defend his people. I like that. So it's okay to disagree. Just let me know why. I'd appreciate it. Now on to the movies for the week. To kick it off, this is actually a Dollar Tree movie. This is Anger of the Dead, a 2015 Italian zombie film directed by Francesco Piccone, starring Aaron Stilstra, Marius Bazal, Desiree Giorgetti, Giorgetti, excuse me, and Michael Segal. And there's so many zombie movies now, I think zombie movies can actually be broken down into genres like zombie comedies zombie action and zombie drop zombie dramas this is more of a zombie drama film it revolves around one pregnant woman one woman who is potentially the cure for the zombie virus and it revolves around that a little slow more again more, more drama but very fun movie interesting movie get the opportunity pick it up at dollar tree anger of the dead my next movie is actually a Netflix movie, and big shout out to Leticia Lopez because she 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 saw this and put on my page. I already had this on my list of Netflix movies to watch. This is We Have a Ghost, a 2023 American supernatural horror comedy based on the short story Ernest by Jeff Bruce Manow, starring the Falcon himself, Anthony Mackie, David Harbour from Stranger Things and Black Widow, and I think a new guy in the scene, Jahi Winson. And this is a story about a family. I guess the father's had some bad business deals and he's been going from house to house or going to city to city trying to reestablish himself. And they get this somewhat dilapidated house and they find a ghost and the story revolves around there. Fun story. Fun stories is actually the story between the father and his youngest son. Also the story of the ghost and how the ghost came to be very fun movie very fun family movie get the opportunity it's on netflix we have a ghost my next one is another netflix movie this is actually a sequel to anola holmes the 2020 movie this is anola holmes 2. this is a 
mystery. It's like slight comedy based on the book of Noah Holmes, um, starring Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things, Henry Cavill, Man of Steel, Helena Bonham Carter. And this is a young lady who is the sister of Sherlock Holmes, who in her own right is a great detective. And she's trying to solve this mystery of this little girl and her, I guess, foster sister. And it's also a sequel on the first Enola Holmes, picking up somewhat where that one left off. Very fun family film picture. Love um, Millie Bobby Brown, especially the name Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown, new, new kids on the uh, new edition fan. But one is a good family film, Enola Holmes 2. My last pick cheesy cheesy late 80s movie Roadhouse 1989 American action film directed by Rowdy Harrington starring Patrick Swayze, Ben Gazzara, Kelly Lynch and a somewhat young looking Sam Elliott. I don't know if Sam Elliott grew with born with gray hair but that dude looked like he was always old. This is a movie about where Patrick Swayze is a bouncer and he's hired to I guess turn around this this new bar in this new city. Very cheesy, very 80s. Just the first thing I thought was like, who the hell is Kevin Sway? Um, uh, Patrick Swayze gonna bounce with his little ass? I kept having flashbacks of Julie Newmar and Tun Wong Fu. But fun movie, very cheesy. Might grab some crackers. Just cheese, just oozing out though. But it was the 80s classic movies. Actually, the first time I've ever seen this. I was just cracking up with uh, Patrick Swayze with the kung fu grip. But you like some cheesy 80 classic movies, Roadhouse 1989 is for you.
You're back at the black cave back at the black cave we are back at the motherfucking black cave have my pickups here from cash america actually this is three different weeks of so not off from one one trip so three different weeks at cash america because they always have something new almost every week so i go there if not every week every other week so let me get these scanned in of course i have my 3d pick and my classic pick for the week so let me get these scanned in it will jump right into it one minute I want to jump into it. Start out with Stateside. I actually picked this up because Willie G7895 left me a comment. Says this is a pretty decent movie. So for a quarter, yeah, I'll definitely take a shot at this. Rachel Lee Cook, Jonathan Tucker, Agnes Bruckner, and Val Kilmer. I'm assuming this is like a suspense thriller, I'm guessing. So blockbuster case. Stateside. Next, blind buy, but looked interesting. Josh Harnett, Naomi Harris, Robin Tooney, David Bowie. That's really kind of piqued my interest. Oh, this, this last one is a first look, first look release. This is a. Ah, First Look Studios also. Interesting. August. I'm not even sure what this is about. I just got a basic of uh, Josh Harnett and David Boy. It looked interesting. August. Next. I believe this is a buck. It looked interesting. I know her from, I can't remember where. Let's see. Fox release. Judy Moody. Moody Judy. Plus, I need the case too. I'm not gonna lie. It has the code, digital code. See if that works later. Huh. Huh, interesting. Little puzzle book. Have the Blu ray, DVD, and the digital copy. So slip cover here. Judy Moody. Let me get this in here. Judy Moody. And the last one from this batch is Batman the Long Halloween Part 2. It's a DC release. And I'm really starting to collect a lot of these DC animated ones. See if the code works. Nice little Blu-ray. And for this little bunch right here. Two, 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 two. 
might as well say five bucks. So, not too bad for that one. <clears throat> Let's go to the next one. This back right here. Started out with, haven't seen this before, looks interesting. Hill Harper, the man who doesn't age. The brat loved a great lyricist, plus she was fine. Tay Diggs, who my wife cannot stand. And not familiar with Ellen Bernstein. Bursting 30 days, looks like it's a maybe basketball thriller, not thriller, probably drama. 30 days, and this is a Zenon release. I know Zenon pictures did a lot of the black exploitation pictures like um, Rudy Ray Moore, Dolomite, uh, the only Isaac Kennedy. Can't think of that name though, but they did the kind of like low budget um, independent movies. 30 Days. Next, we have an Anchor Bay release, out of print release. Natalie Portman, Jane Got a Gun. I believe I actually saw a trailer on it. This actually looked relatively decent. I'm not a big Western fan though, but if it's good, it's, if it's a good movie, it's a good movie. Whether it's Western, whatever, whatever genre. So. Jane got a gun. I believe my wife said she's she's seen this. So it was pretty decent. Next, a dog's purpose, an adorable, heartwarming film. Again, mother say I was gonna say my wife is an animal person. We're, this is an animal house, I guess. I've had cats for over a few decades, so it's a animal friendly house, mostly cats. But love dogs also. A dog's purpose. It's a universal release. And don't know who stars in it. Just oh, that's Costner. I believe that's Costner. Who is that? I don't know, it looks like Costner, but it's not him. A Dog's Purpose. Next, yep, I was able to get the first Batman, The Long Halloween, DC Warner Brothers animated release. Let's see if the code works. So I have one and two, happy to get the set. And sometimes you have to get the second one before the first one in hopes that you'll get the other one. And I did, so I'm very happy about that. This is the Bible, the epic mini series, Fox release. And I should have this uh, in the digi book. Yeah, Jesus definitely needs a tan and a perm, but we won't go there. But the epic miniseries, this one, this two, this three, and this four. The Bible, 20th Century Fox release, and 4K, Hacksaw Ridge. You know, I've seen this a couple times, it's pretty decent. 4K and the Blu-ray. The Summit release. It says Summit, but I want to say Universal for some reason though, but it says Summit, so I'm going to believe it and say it's a Summit release. Yeah, Summit. Hacksaw Ridge. And for this set right here pay slightly more $13 so not 
bag. You got one, two, one, two, two DVDs, three Blu-rays, well, two Blu-rays, mini series, and a 4K. 13 bucks, not bad. And this is the last one right here. Never heard of this before. She looks familiar, but looks interesting. Hi, how are you? Mind boggling funny, so we'll see. And just a quick thing. Um, she goes to eat some treats, some cupcakes that are laced, and I guess that's where the story begins. Smiley face. This is actually a four, a four film collection. This is the Mill Creek. I have the messenger, but I didn't have these other three. Agnes of God, I don't think I have Mary Riley or the Pact of Silence. So, looked interesting. I love my Mill Creek releases. The Agnes of God, Mary Riley, The Messenger, The Story of Joan Arc, and The Pact of Silence. <clears throat> I've actually been looking for this. I've had the bootleg DVD of this. And just been looking for this because I've seen it so many times in the pawn in the uh yeah, pawn store, but usually it's a bad copy. And actually able to get a decent copy of it though. Never seen this before, but I like the cast of Dustin Hoffman. I think that's Jude Law. Marky Mark. Lily Tomlin. She looks familiar. She looks not so familiar. But I love the... I heart the Huckabees. And this is a 22 Fox release. I have a snap case. This is the X-Men Evolution. The animated... Animated series. Not the original, but I think this is like the second or third generation. This is a Warner Brothers Marvel release. Been looking for this for a while also. Couldn't beat the price. Matter of fact, still in the wrapper. Hold on, let me get my Wesley Snipes and open this up. One moment. Can't get my... Wesley Snipes, a.k.a. my Blade, my Johnny Blade, my Willie Snips. Let's open this up. Let's see the code. Insidious. Insidious 3, Chapter 3. This is a Blumhouse Sony release. Stage 3. Insidious 3. Had a bootleg of this for a while. So happy to get this. The 10th anniversary edition. I've never seen this either. With the arguably one of the best Jokers, Heath Ledger, Julia Stiles, who always he's getting mixed up with Kirsten Dunst for some reason. Escape, get back in there. 10 things I hate about you. This is a touch tone. Yeah, touch tone release. Very nice slip cover also. Got the raised printing here. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Next, I have the Blu-ray, but for the price, couldn't, couldn't pass on the, the 4K. You have Kevin Spacey, Jamie Foxx. I guess it's Ansel, or I guess that's Ansel Elgort. I don't know if I've seen him in anything else but this. I might have, but I can't speak of it offhand. 
the Blu-ray and the 4K Baby Driver. And again, this is a Who's this? Try TriStar Pictures. TriStar Pictures. And to wrap things up, Ant-Man and Wasp. And how apropos because their new movie is out in theaters now. I had the 3D version, didn't have the 4K. Again, for the price, couldn't pass it up. For this batch, let me see so you understand. For this batch right here, right here, right here, 44, five bucks, baby. So this, this, and this all alone, like 10, 22 bucks, can't beat that. 3D pick of the week, unfortunately not as cheap though, but Thor, Love and Thunder. I actually like this. Got a bad rap, I think, because of the comic overtones, though. But like the movie, like the villain. Didn't expect the villain to be who that was. And if you haven't seen that yet, I won't spoil it for you. But really like the villain in the movie. And this is a Disney, well, can I say Disney release? Marvel Studios, Disney. I'm not sure how it's actually technically categorized, though, but Thor, Love and Thunder, the 3D, edition, 3D edition, 4K, 3D, Blu-ray. Thor, and to wrap things up, my classic pick, we have Kino Lorber's Jason's Lyric. Jada Pinkett, the other before, Will. Bokeem Woodbine, the other guy who doesn't seem to age, Tretch from Naughty by Nature, fantastic lyricist, Eddie Griffin, amazing comedian, stand-up comedian from Malcolm and Eddie, and the uh, legendary Forrest Whitaker from King of Scotland to um, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, so <clears throat> he's a legend. Jason's Lyric, King of Lorber release, and they have the standard classic black back in with the KL and the MGM. All right, these are my pickups for the week. Give me a moment. Let me get the separate the plastic from the, the disc and the artwork and get you good people on your way. Hold on. Everything scanned into my CLZ movies app. That C is in Chucky. L as in Love the First Bite. Z as in Zebrahead. All right, let's wrap this up. I have everything scanned in, ready to be put back in its proper place. As usual, I appreciate each and every one of you that stayed for the video. If you made it this far, give me the big thumbs up. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Smash the bell. Smash the subscribe button. Other than that, 
May the best of your past be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Deuces.